Hey there YouTube. So what I've done is I've been shopping on Craigslist and uh, a couple years ago I, I sold a chipper that I wasn't using and now that I'm doing this little composting thing I thought well I'll just get a little chipper so I found this guy electric chipper $25 uh, you know the stuff I started filling up in here was just leaves and after doing some research on it, it I'm going to increase production it'll be faster if I chop them up um, shredding paper or whatever so I got this little guy and I'm going to just see how it works since the last video I've cut a little bit of a trench underneath this uh, this thing so I can get get my wheelbarrow in I don't know how this thing's going to dump but I guess hey that works pretty doggone good just need to get this guy in a little bit pardon the camera angle a little bit deeper there and give her a little shake not bad for a bunch of raw material sorry for the crappy video here not too shabby I can already see some improvements I want to make to it but okay well there you have it now I'm gonna just mulch that up and shove it back in there Craigslist wonderful thing you know in some future episodes uh, you're gonna see how whole hog I go into these things I'm an extreme novice I've always been a consumer when it comes to food products I've never grown my own so this is the first stab at it hopefully if there's somebody watching that's new like I am we'll be able to gain gain something from my mistakes and hopefully I don't make too many of them because you go to the big box stores and and uh, you can spend lots of money or you can scrounge around like Craigslist I got six raised bed gardens that I'm gonna go pick up tomorrow they're cedar they're, uh, and that'll be in a future video so stay tuned for that anyway I bought paint for this guy but it's way too cold it snowed yesterday and so I'm not gonna be painting it now obviously this isn't the ideal setup uh, for this but this is just an experiment and it didn't cost me very much I need to probably either cut an opening here or make a chute of some kind a little electric guy it works pretty good so we're going to start out with uh, almost a wheelbarrow full of leaves and sawdust and debris and whatnot. Yeah, this sucks. see what we end up with what I've done and I don't recommend anybody do this at all I've removed the safety guard from this guy so I can really shove some leaves in there and I'm pushing it down with a 2 by 4 I don't recommend this I'm a professional I'm a professional something anyhow uh, pushing it all down in there I almost went through the entire wheelbarrow got a 5 gallon pail of some pretty fine crushed up stuff now what I was really trying to find was um, a push mower. I have a backpack leaf blower and I have 500 trees out here depositing leaves everywhere. Normally what I do is I blow the leaves out into the yard and I've got mulching blades on my zero turn right on mower and it just goes into the grass or weeds grass combo. What I want to do is get it out in the field mulch it all up and then come through with a push mower with a bag on the back and suck it all up and that way it's concentrated and I'm already done unfortunately uh, I haven't been able to find a reasonably priced push mower and so that's why I'm trying this approach just because it was only $25 and I'm not on a big scale yet I'm just doing this little Joe homeowner kind of bucket uh, brigade here eventually 
I'll get up into some production. I've got some big boxes to fill, um, some raised, pled, raised bed planters. I've got my seven trees to plant, so this is going to be an ongoing process. But stick with me, and we'll see how it goes. All right, and don't forget to subscribe. This kind of concludes the the uh, barrel video series. Aside from paint, I went went there on my last video. I said probably won't deserve anything, but it'll look so cool that I'll I'll have to make a video anyway. Thanks a lot for looking. Uh, subscribe, learn with me suggest anything you want i'm open for just any suggestion that anybody has and thanks a lot see you later